Lecture 5.3, Definite Integrals and Antiderivatives. This slide is Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument in Arizona. The cactus in this picture, however, happened to be Suwaro Cactus, not Organ Pipe Cactus. Your textbook gives rules for working with integrals, the most important of which are the integral from a to b of f of x dx equals the opposite of the integral from b to a of f of x dx. In other words, reversing the limits changes the sign. The integral from a to a of f of x dx equals 0. If the upper and lower limits are equal, then the integral is 0. The integral of a to b of k times f of x dx equals k times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. Constant multiples can be moved outside. The integral from a to b of f of x plus g of x dx equals the integral from a to b of f of x dx plus the integral from a to b of g of x dx. Integrals can be added and subtracted. The integral from a to b of f of x dx plus the integral from b to c of f of x dx equals the integral from a to c of f of x dx. Intervals can be added or subtracted. And we can illustrate that with this picture. The integral from a to b, which is this shaded area, plus the integral from b to c, which is the second shaded area, equals the integral from a to c, that is the entire shaded area. The average value of a function is the value that would give the same area if the function was a constant. For example, given the function y equals 1 half x squared, the area under the curve is the integral from 0 to 3 of 1 half x squared dx. which is equal to 1 sixth x cubed evaluated from 0 to 3 or 27 sixths which reduces to 9 halves or 4.5. The average value then would be 4.5 divided by 3 or 1.5 Because 1.5 is the average value, the area in this rectangle under the line y equals 1.5 is the same as the area under the original curve. Average value equals area divided by width or 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. The mean value theorem for definite integral says that for a continuous function, at some point on the interval, the actual value will be equal to the average value. If f is continuous on closed interval a to b, then at some point c in closed interval a to b, f of c equals 1 over b minus a 
times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. Note, when a problem on the AP exam refers to the mean value theorem without specifying which one, they mean the mean value theorem for derivatives.